Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing a wet snacks on Vasily Lomachenko, the newly crowned, once again, uh, lightweight champion of the world. He captured the IBF title um, on May 11th with a dominant performance over George Cambosos Jr. Uh, in Australia where he stopped Cambosos in the 11th round after just thoroughly dominating him the entire fight. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. Um, again, guys, the Fantasy Heavyweight Tournament is coming towards the end of the week. Um, I'm going to get things started by announcing the fighters, all the champions in it, um, and then we will get to the first round matchups and everything um, and roll into next week and stuff. So be excited, be ready for that. Um, so back to Loma, you know. He absolutely dominated and destroyed, um, uh, what's his name, um, George Cambosos. I mean, it wasn't even a fight. I called it. I said he's pissed off about what happened last year. And Cambosos, he, I, I, I told you he's going to be mean in there. He's going to get in there. He's going to break down George Cambosos and beat him up. He's going to, and he looked like the old Loma. He really did, you know. And now the big question is what's next for Lomachenko? Um, in the future so um you know one thing is the manu navarate fight likely not on the table anymore because navarate lost on may 18th to um dennis Baryanchek for the vacant wbo title let's run through the rest of the top 10 now though and see what could possibly be next for the reigning ibf uh, newly crowned ibf champion uh vasily lomachenko so we start with the obvious fight that everybody wants to see, the Gervonta Davis fight, the Tank Davis fight. I want to see this as much as everybody else for a multitude of reasons. For Tank, I think Loma is the perfect fighter for him to fight to prove that he's on the level. If Tank knocks out or beats Vasily Lomachenko, we will know that Tank is on that level for sure. And then I think that's going to raise Tank's confidence to fight the rest of the top dogs after that. You know, there's not going to be any holding him back anymore. And so I really hope that that's the case, that, that this fight is seriously on the table. Tank mentioned it um, before Loma's fight with Cambosos, and then now Loma has made it clear that that's the fight that he wants. So I really think this fight is possible and can be, and can be made um, and especially with Saudi Arabia in the mix now, where they're they're uh, you know dipping their toe in the water to get the biggest fights made, I really think this fight's possible. Tank's got to get past Frank Martin first, but I really do believe this fight's possible. Then there's undefeated WBC champion Shakur Stevenson. You know Bob Arum said that his goal is to make Stevenson and Loma next. Um, I highly doubt this fight's going to happen. Um, Stevenson, again, did himself such a disservice last year in that performance against Edwin, Edwin De Los Santos. Um, he captured the title, but he's fighting Harder Runyon in his next fight, and um, that's in July. And will Loma want to unify against Stevenson next? I mean, if Stevenson looks bad in that fight, maybe Loma says, okay, I'll fight him. But I really think Loma wants the tank fight and just might want more a, a more attractive fight. But the one thing is that he's a champion. And Loma, I believe, wants to go after Undisputed before he's done. So um, I do believe there's a chance, but I really think Bob Aaron was floating that to try to get Shakur Stevenson to re-sign with top rank. Because the fight with Harder Runyon in July is Stevenson's last fight with top rank on his contract right now. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. It is possible. I'm leaning towards a less light. Then you got George Cambosos Jr. in a rematch. No reason for that. He destroyed George Cambosos. Um, Jermaine Ortiz in a rematch. To be honest, if all else fails, I don't think Lomachenko would be against fighting Ortiz. Ortiz gave him a run for his money the first time. I think Loma was overlooking him. Um, and then Ortiz really fought well against Teofimo Lopez and arguably won that fight, you know? Um, so, 
uh, that was at 140. Now, if Ortiz would come back down to 135 and for a rematch with Loma, I think he could. I definitely think that that one could be a possibility, especially with both guys being with top rank. Then you got Isaac Cruz. Um, I, you know, he's the WBA champ at 140. Loma's not going up to 140, so not going to happen. Raymond Muratala. I guess it's an opponent that if Bob Arum wanted to wanted to have him go after Loma, maybe Loma would take him on. He's a tough, undefeated, younger, lightweight, um, can brawl. But I think Loma probably stays away from this opponent, at least now, because Muratala is not a huge name yet. But he is climbing those ranks, and he is with top ranks, so it could be a possibility. Then you got William Zapata. Zapata's lining himself up for a title shot. Um, with the WBA or the WBC right now. Um, Zapata does want, uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Zapata won the mandatory rights in both the IBF and the WBA. So William Zapata, Loma might have to fight Zapata next unless Zapata goes after the WBA title. So this is gonna be an interesting turn of events right here. Would Loma fight Zapata next? Is he gonna have a choice? He might. He might be able to file an exception, uh, especially if a unifying belt against like somebody like Tank Davis is on the table. But man, I'm gonna be, you know, that, that, that Zapata definitely could be his next opponent. Then there's Zawar Abdullayev. I don't think Loma's gonna fight him next. I think he wants a bigger name opponent. Um, Frank Martin, if Frank Martin pulls off the upset over Tank and Tank doesn't want a rematch with Frank Martin, I think Loma and Frank Martin definitely could happen. Then there's a newly crowned WBO champ, Dennis Baryanchik. You know, these two guys are friends. They're, they were on the uh, Ukrainian team together. I don't think Loma's going to want to fight another Ukrainian fighter right now. So I think he might stay away from a unification with Baryanchik. Doesn't mean that it can't happen. I do believe it's possible. I just think these two guys are going to try to do other things and not have a Ukraine versus Ukraine type fight right now anyways. Um, Edwin De Los Santos, I don't see it. He had a poor performance against, uh, what's his name? Shakur Stevenson. That's a turn off right there. So I don't see Loma being interested in that. Um, Angel Fierro, um, I don't see this one, uh, either. I, I just don't think he's a big enough name. Uh, Maxi Hughes got destroyed against William Zapata in his last fight. So he's not an option. And Floyd Schofield's not a big enough name to be an option. So for Loma, I really think he's going to push for the for the um, Gervonta Tank Davis fight to unify belts. If that doesn't happen, I think the other possibilities, real possibilities, the real ones are potentially a unification with Shakur Stevenson or a mandatory defense against William Zapata. Um, if he is allowed to make an optional defense prior to fighting Zapata, then I can see somebody like a Raymond Muratala or a Jermaine Ortiz. So it's going to be interesting to see what Loma does, but I'm glad he's a world champion again because it's going to create for bigger fights, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what he does next. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my what's next on newly crowned IBF lightweight champion of the world, Vasily Lomachenko, following his dominating 11th round T uh, TKO victory over George Cambosos Jr. on May 11th. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing, and you've been hit with the truth.